Hi everyone and welcome back to a uh, another map making tutorial and this is the new home of map making this is the magnificent map of map making and uh, this is where I'll base on my tutorials from now on so uh, this map will actually kind of become full of lots of different tests and lots of different created things and then uh, you know once it, get, it kind of gets fun and interesting enough I might like uh, I'll upload it <coughs> do apologize so um, I've had, I think, two comments across two different videos. Um, I'd say there were requests, but one of them was just like, make more, so that's more of a demand, but I don't mind, however however you word your uh, requests. Uh, so, this tutorial will be how to create and train and build units you have made. So, in the last one, we made a, well, I made a turret, um, but I kind of showed you how to make a unit and stuff as well. So um, here we have Mad Marines, which are a new marine I've made, and the Marine House, which is a modified Supply Depot. Um, the original Supply Depot and the original Marine are still in the game, because I've done this, you know, oops, what? Sorry, because I've done this properly, <laughs> I was just about to say, there you are. So there's a normal Marine and the normal Supply Depot, so theoretically, these are new units that I've made. Sorry, bad time to have a cough. Right, so um, we get straight into it. We're going to go into the data editor. And I was just messing with the Mad Marine. So first of all, we're going to let the, we're going to make an ability so that the Marine House can train units. Um, I'm doing this kind of the long way. You could easily kind of move the barracks ability onto the Marine House and then add the Mad Marine to that ability. But I'm going to do it all from scratch so that like you can make, say, a whole new team if you wanted. Um, you know, you could like get rid of the Zerg and put a new type of Terra in or whatever. Because I'm I'm not sure if it lets you if the game will let you add like a fourth race. Um, I think that's hard coded. But uh, we'll see. So what we're going to do is what we always do, which is right click in here and then wait. Oh, we're going to crash. It normally does this, and what it will do, it will send the data editor down, and it will take me to the, the fine, whatever, add. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put uh, Marine House Training. Oh, no, we're not. Suggest. Uh, right, and it is not an arm magazine, it is a train ability. And from that, we're going to go to the barracks and just kind of copy that. Yep, so this is Marine House Training. So uh, this ability will have um, like all the stuff in it, so Spectres, Ghosts, Firebats, so on and so forth. So we're actually just going to... Oh, there isn't a quick way to delete those. I guess actually... So this, this is my first time of doing this, but I know how to do it. So I've just kind of hopped in. But yeah, so we'll ignore that. What, I think what you can do actually is actually just make the ability, and it'd be fine. But uh, what we do, we go to one of the MD training slots. And I have I've done stuff in the wrong order again, which is fine. <laughs> right, so anyway, we're gonna look for this. Is all changed. I've literally just updated. I got Heart of the Swarm, so this is all the new editor. Has stuff moved? Effect. Stuff's moved, hasn't it? I'm getting screwed over by the editor. Ah, info unit. Oh god, and I'm being blind. I do apologise, this is a really sloppy tutorial. But anyway, Mad Marine. Dish. Okay. Okay. So our Mad Marine is there, but there is no button. So what we're going to quickly do is go into buttons. Everyone loves buttons. Unless you're a hotkey person, then you don't like buttons. Okay, Mad Marine. The Mad Marine button, so that I don't have lots of stuff called Mad Marine. And we're going to just copy it from the Marine button. Which I believe is actually called Train Marine, isn't it? Yeah. Marine. There we go. So we're going to copy that. So then we've got like our own little tooltip and stuff. And I'm going to change this to... Uh... So then we can change all these bits, like the description that puts, comes up on the um, on the button. We can change the graphic on the button. <laughs> Name, Mad Marine button. Cool. Um, it should probably actually be called Train... What about, um, oh, I need a word. Uh, just, okay, I'm just going to put Mad Marine. Yeah, that'll do for now. I'll come back and think of something creative later. Uh, 
hockey, train marine, hockey's A, tooltip crazy, and then we can go to the icons, most of stuff. So yeah, this is um this is like everything about training unit. This is, as I said, if you want to just get it in and you want it to kind of you don't care how it looks or how you've done it, to be honest, this is the wrong tutorial. But um, you know, if you're messing with everything, oh wow that training drone looks so cool. I want to find the model for that. And put that in something, that'd be cool. So yeah, we've got like we chose a different picture. I could have probably found a better one. So we now have a Mad Marine button. So we're gonna go back to abilities. Oh and there we are, the Marine House training of the magnificent map of map making. This is slightly slow. I am filming recording audio and have StarCraft running in the background. So that's all a bit hectic computer wise. A oh, sip of brew. Right, so Mad Marine. Ta da so we have a button. Um we have time so it's gonna take two seconds to train. Uh, the Mad Marine cost is decided in our Mad Marine um, unit information. So basically with this done, we're going to hop over to the Marine House and add a few things. Actually, um, for a map I made for my brother, I actually made uh, supply depots in Melee. I made a Melee map where the supply depots could train Marines and had... And the supply depots had a weapon as well, so that was pretty pretty crazy. Uh, right, so building progress obviously needs to stay because that's the way the building gets constructed, or something along those lines. So we're going to look for no, not mad actually. We're going to look for um, marine. Marine has training, and what we also need to add is a oh, what are they called? It's basically the the list that appears at the bottom. Um, it's a Q, isn't it? Q. There you go. So Q5 will do. So we're allowed to queue up up to five, and you can change. There's like a Q10 and stuff like that. So that's all good. Right, and then on the command card, we can now add the button we created earlier, the Mad Marine button. The requirement. What? This has changed. Sorry, the uh, yeah, an ability command. Oh God. Uh, and the command is that one, and we don't want to train a marine, that's a normal one. We want to mad marine, there it is. So that can now train up to five mad marines at the cost of mad marines. Uh, so that's that done. Uh, and then to complement this, we will have it so that the mad marines can build marine houses. So we're going to go back into abilities, and I'm going to try this one differently. It doesn't work. It's kind of not my fault. No. Um, <laughs> I think what I'll actually do is just copy SCV build um, and do it like that because it's a bit easier. And then you know, if you wanted to, you could um, go along with these and take them out. So it's just your stuff. Um, there probably is a better way of doing this, but you know, for people that just want to kind of get it done and it isn't as sloppy as just like copy and paste. Um, though this is kind of clone and you know, clone and rinse, I guess. But you know, <laughs> so this is. Um, Mad Marine House. No, that's not right. Mad Marine Building. I'll put. I'll try and put. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, race uh, Terran because I want to. It isn't an our magazine. It is a build ability, which means I can copy it from the CV. Okay. That will turn away a bit. <laughs> Yep, yeah, and there's that like crash I said about. And then yeah, we've got all this, so we're just going to nip into slot eight. Uh, now I'll skip making the button for this, just for the, you know, speeding it up. So I'll just put. I don't know how important the button is. I know sometimes buttons make stuff not work. So I'm like, ooh. Um. Ah, oh, B B for build build supply depot. It's not going to be. Supply depot. Well, how about we? Have, yeah, build bunker button. That'll do. And the unit that's been constructed is a marine house. Marine house, and it will say take two seconds. Oh no, one. It will take fifteen seconds. Now it's too long. Take four seconds. And the cost is decided in the bit, which is fine. 
So we go to units. And this should, this should work. I'm sure I don't think build abilities are any like too much more complicated than other types of abilities, apart from stuff like warping in and kind of, you know, if the worker's kept, um, a few bits like that. Um, I'm hoping that my marines will kind of automatically act like an SCV. Um, if, I, if they can, I don't know. Maybe I should have <coughs> done this beforehand, but oh well. So we want marine house build. No. Mad marine building. Yeah. And then on the command card at the bottom here, we're going to just add... What button did I use? Bunker. And it was build a normal bunker. There's an ability command, and the ability is mad marine building. And we're going to build... Oh, one of these. <laughs> Let's hope it's the bottom one. Um, yeah, if you've done that correctly with the right button and stuff like that, it will be clearer to you. Um, just in case, I'm going to add it again. Um, completely my fault. Uh, there's the top one. Cool. Um, and that actually should be everything. So we're going to close the data editor. Um, I'm just going to put some some minerals, some outer space minerals. Will they work? Small scrap salvage. They're noisy in my ear. That'll do. Right, and we are going to test it. Okay, so um, actually, it actually crashed on me, so I've just had to like kind of redo a bit. And uh, <coughs> and um, I'm testing again. <laughs> so let's hope it actually gain game this time. Right, and uh, that that came up because I haven't done any um, trigger editing. Um, yeah, so the the things that makes my marines quite mad is the fact that they wander around on their own. But here we go. So, mad marine, crazy, want food, 50 minerals, is trained. Uh, one thing we can do, actually, is add um, the ability to set rally point um, to the marine house. Uh, but as you can see, you know, we can charge them up, well, uh, queue them up even, and they, they wander around because they're crazy. And there we go, there, that's the correct one. So now we can build another marine house. And he's gonna wander around building that, is he? Yeah. And he even says, by the numbers boys, once he's finished. Build another one. Build the sky building one. Yeah, queue, queue up building marine houses. Yeah, there we go, and he's gonna just like wander to points of it. Very good. Uh, I think because of some, some trigger editing, may, sorry, because of some editing on the other one, I've done something wrong. And but there you go. So that's the kind of the basics of it. So um, there's some zerglings over here for my mad marines to fight. Cool. Yeah, and that gets to the point where I just start to mess around. So yeah, so um, that's the that's that done basically. Um, I I do feel that that was a bit sloppy, but literally, there's, you know, there's not that much point in me redoing it like and just clearing up all the teeny hiccups. Um, <laughs> everyone go for a wonder now. So yeah, so um, basically, the reason I did this video was because it was asked. Um, literally, I I never know what to do tutorials on because I don't know what people don't know. <laughs> so um, you know, as if you guys let me know, however you want to say it. In a, in a comment on nearly any video since I check all of them um, then I'll do my best to make it so uh, thank you very much guys and hopefully I'll see you for the next one goodbye